put this back in the chuck And grab another piece of um, duct tape, lay it on there. And since we concave this a little bit, you could actually go back and, and cave that up a little bit, but that concave is actually very, very, very minimal. Um, I don't concave them that much, so you still have a pretty good amount of surface space hitting the... This is where I feel like it's most important to get it as close to center now. And so using using the tailstock kind of as a reference, um, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered because uh, I kind of think when they're slightly off center, they actually gives them a little bit of character. Okay, put a little pressure on that. We'll let that sit for about 10 15 minutes. Um, kind of set up there. Uh, let it kind of, I don't know, the stickiness to really kind of penetrate a little bit. Um, and then once that's set, set, then we'll come back. I think it's set enough for doing what I'm going to do right now. And I'll just take real light cuts. Um, just to get it round. So I'll go back to using my radius square cutter. And now real gentle come in there. What I'm trying to do here is just get it round. Um, and once it's round, then I'll come back and... And on this side, I'm gonna have it kind of bulging just ever so slightly. So there's two ways I can use the square and come up and use the side of it and be cutting like this. Or I can be using the nose, standing over here and cutting like this. So, but I'm gonna kind of roll that out. 
And then this is where I would use mostly use the skew, because um, the skew as a scraper kind of gives can help really work that whole surface area. And then I want to work it thinner. as well as working it over here. Okay, and I can still put this back on the other side after it cures up and finish sanding it later. That's why I was willing to come back. I'll just stick it back on the, this face with the double stick tape. Make sure I have a nice flat surface. Cross that maybe for about an inch and then I'll start curving, curving my piece, okay? So you can see I've got a little bit of a, a lip there still. I want to get that off. So I'm going to turn my skew this way and round that up just a little bit and I'll cut into that block a little bit. Okay, see, cut into that block, you can see where it's not quite set up, it's not hard yet, like I said, I rushed this a little bit, but again, coming back, um, starting with the 200 grit, and then working my way through 600 grit, um, I stop at 600 because I put a polyurethane coat um, over it, but kind of sand it a little bit, um, and then I hit it with the Easy Shine um, to kind of get that uh, get rid of any scratch marks from sanding. Um, and then I'll go back and I'll just drill on the drill press, drill a little hole for the for the piece and so right here where it's thinnest where there's hardly any wood um, that's where I'll put the top and then it kind of get the weight of the piece comes down to the bottom um, I'm gonna hit this with some enamel real quick just so you can see um, what it would look like it's on there pretty good right now so I gotta get in here this video this week um, before final start next week for me so um, I like to give it about 48 hours of cure time so after I'd sand that up you can see where the it's fairly even actually everywhere on the wood um, I don't know it's Real thin wood up top here, but hit it with the um, enamel. Real quick, um, uh, but this would be after I polished it up and got it all ready. So then it would look like that. You can see where the wood's heavier on the bottom there, and then we drill the hole up here and hang the pendant. So I'm gonna let this have a little bit more time to cure because um, obviously it needs a bit more time to cure before I can sand it, sand it. Um, but that's kind of what they look like in a nutshell so give them some more day a few more days to cure and then I'll come back and turn the rest of them um, got them all cut out just need to turn them now
There you go, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you got some good information out of it. And uh, thanks again. And please subscribe to my channel.